Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about this C2 now. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the Vault of Glass uh, thing that they talked about in the TWAB thing. Um, and I'm excited, especially since this world first race is going to be completely different than any other world race we've ever had. So let's get on to it. Pray to its revenge. In season 14, the Vault of Glass will return. The team will have a lot more to say about it before launch, but there are a few things I'd like to clarify now. Our philosophy behind bringing things out of the Destiny content vault is to keep them feeling like the content you remember while updating them to meet Destiny 2 difficulty and raid standards. So while the high level experience remains the same, you should expect the raid team to have a few tricks up their sleeves when you tackle the depths of Venus this summer. Huh, okay, okay, it kind of, I, I want Venus to come back. Venus is my favorite uh, place in destiny one just because it looks fucking beautiful but i understand why they wouldn't do that because it is a whole planet but whatever vault of glass vault of glass will also launch with both a contest mode in the first 24 hours and a world first race since this is the since this is a reprised raid we're going to do world first a bit different players looking to claim the belt will will not only have to complete the raid but also have a curated list of challenging triumphs and while only one fire team will walk away with a belt, there will be plenty of opportunities for players to earn the ability to purchase some sweet real world loot through Bungie Rewards. One last thing, before the end of the year, we are also looking to add a master version of Vault of Glass. We've been really excited about how master and grandmaster difficulties have altered nightfall strikes. Increasing the potency of combat and the importance of executing mechanics. We'd like all our future uh, rad, raid, and dungeon content to offer master difficulty versions where players can earn adept raid and dungeon gear. And while we aren't able to commit to a season 14 time frame for master uh, vault of glass, we do want to take the time to develop a sustainable structure that allows us to ship these closer together in future releases. So that's really it. This whole portion is going to talk about how great this idea is. So let's talk about it. The fact that they're thinking about giving us a depth raid weapons and just gear all around and not only raid, but dungeon as well. I'm all for it. I think raids and dungeons, those hold a lot of replayability if you do it correctly obviously with like raids you can do it over and over for not only weapons and gear anymore but now you can get the the material or not the material the currency to buy like exotics or certain weapons from the kiosk which is great gives a lot of replayability to those raids not only that each dungeon can have like ornaments come out or just weapons and curated and there's just so many things you can do with them uh i think the logical place to go would be to make raids and dungeons a little bit more interchangeable as in like maybe i'll give you a good example so let's say for shattered throne instead of the regular shattered throne that we have expand on it now like let's say after a certain amount of time there's shattered throne and there's an expansion to that so now there's two ways you do you want to do the old shattered throne or do you want to do the new shattered throne where you go through a new area like i think making raids and dungeon interchangeable like that maybe not raids but dungeons specifically i think have a great potential to be that interchangeable there's a specific word but I'm, it's escaping me right now also the fact that they're making a master version of vault of glass is fucking awesome i really hope that we see master versions of new raids or the older raids that we have currently i would love to see them have a rotational raid every week like oh this week the rotation for the raid is so and so kind of like in destiny one that way it gives life to that dungeon or raid and the rate the rate of that week gives you like i don't know insert reward here it i'm i'm liking i'm liking where this is going because at the moment raids do have replayability but after you get some of the gear that you want there's really no point to doing it especially like someone like me who 
already has pretty much everything I want from each raid. And I'm not trying to like flex or anything. It's just literally like the new raid. I already have most of the weapons that I want, the DSC. Uh, last wish i've been having all the stuff that i want i think the only reason i would ever do those raids again would be to get powerful armor but i think that would be the biggest issue for me is that some of the armor that you get sometimes is just dog shit. so i think either increase the number of stats in that in the in the armor that you can get or give us better stat distributions overall i think this is a great change it's gonna really revitalize the raiders in the community such as myself uh, this is definitely going to want me or this is going to make me want to find a raiding clan. That way I can start raiding again because I haven't raided in a while because, you know, my clan's pretty much on life support, if not kind of dead. So overall, I'm really excited for this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The next one is going to be the the transmog. And that would that's that. That's really it. I. We'll look at some armor for next season, but other than that, yeah, well, I'm really excited. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for the support. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you guys in the next one.